Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jasmine Katrina if you are new here and today we are talking about outfit pillars to get you into the spring season. So in this video, I'm gonna cover five outfit pillars and we're gonna walk through a few examples. That way if you're looking to refresh your closet, spring clean your closet and you just don't really know where to start, then you definitely wanna keep watching. another video if you are new here my name is Jasmine Katrina and today we are gonna get into spring transitional outfits um, I'm really excited about this so let's dive right in okay first things first I apologize for the lighting it is going to move around so if there's a glare or anything I apologize in advance but let's get into what today's video I have five main outfit pillars and outfit types that I think are perfect honestly year-round but because we're focused on spring, it'll be spring and um, for the spring season. Uh, and in this, I'm gonna show you guys two examples from each con uh, each style pillar. So let me grab my notes from my handy dandy phone and then we'll dive right into it. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first outfit type or outfit pillar are uh, dresses. I think, you know, this is the perfect time for bringing out the best open toe sandals and spring dresses and floral dresses and things like that. So on the screen, you'll see it side by side, a few different dresses that I've been wearing that I have already in my closet. Now I will note, I am not trying to shop this quarter. So a lot of my outfits are already piece, are, are pieces that I already own. So what I can link, I will always link down below. It'll always be on my like to know it but I do realize that these won't be the newest items, but the idea is that you can kind of get some inspiration and you can take from what I'm showing you and be able to remix it or buy exactly what you like. But I just want to give you guys a couple of ideas. So dresses, I think dresses are wonderful. I love a beautiful floral, frilly, girly dress. And I really, really enjoy uh, more form fitting dresses that you can dress up with either a blazer, a cardigan, um, a jacket, so things like that. So as you see on the side by side, I wanted to just give you two options for the dress category. And I think that you can pull inspiration and pull ideas from Pinterest and even my video and other content creators videos, just to kind of help you see how you can rock the dress look, okay? Um, outfit or content type number, outfit content type. Uh, number two in the outfit pillar would be button up and jeans. I. I really do think that button-ups are universal year-round and I feel like with button-ups whether it's a white button-up a striped button-up a denim button-up I think you just have the idea and the ability to make any outfit elevated so if you are the type of person that enjoys elevated casual or like chic casual in these types of descriptions when it comes to your style then you definitely want to lean into the button-ups I just think any button-up can be worn with a sneaker for a casual it can be worn with a loafer for preppy it can be worn with a boot or a sandal for a little more sophisticated ideas like the world the the ideas are endless when it comes to button-ups but specifically you want to have in your wardrobe a white button-up okay and I have a few pinstripe button-ups and I also have a few denim button-ups. So again, everything is on the side-by-side -side screen. But I do think that if you are looking to refresh your wardrobe for the spring, you might want to have at least two, maybe three uh, button-ups to wear with jeans. Can be worn um, tucked in. I like to wear mine half in, half out. I also like to wear mine all the way tucked in with a nice statement belt. And I do enjoy wearing them fully out because I sometimes feel like when I eat a lot of food, I don't want nothing like holding me back. So if I have a button up, it's loose. It's not constricting in any way. And it's still cute. Okay. Great. Um, outfit and content. Uh, outfit type number three. The Canadian suit. So this is your denim on denim look. I love me a denim on denim look. A denim top with a denim jean. A denim jacket with a like. The idea of denim on denim just screams chic edgy 
and casual. I think anytime I wear denim on denim, I want to incorporate a red lip. I want to incorporate like a top knot. I want to incorporate sneakers for the sporty look um, and the athleisure vibe. And then I want to do like ankle boots and sandals for like a cute brunch idea. So if you haven't, please give the Canadian suit a try. I do like to also mix the types of denim and the types of wash. So you might have, you might see me in a darker denim top at the, on the top and then a light denim on the bottom, vice versa. Sometimes I try to keep it monochromatic and I'll just wear the same type of wash. But either way, a denim on denim is the best and one of the best ways to refresh your closet for the spring. All right, so in uh, outfit style number four, this is quite literally what I wear all the time and it is your blazer and graphic tee. Now listen, I love a good graphic tee and I love me a blazer. Specifically this time, I'm gonna sport out and call out a few of the springier colors that I have. So I'm thinking bright pinks and greens and purples and creams and things like that. In the winter time, I typically always lean into like blacks and dark browns and darker shades, but springtime calls for some fun color. And I do have a few more blazers that I wanna get. I'm it's on my list, um, but I do think in the spring season, I've kind of leaned on the color scheme that I wanna go for. And so think rich jewel tones, rich, uh, warm and rich cool tones. So purples and like a magenta purple, a pretty spring green, a blush pink is always my go-to. Um, I like those types of colors a lot for the spring season. And so my blazers, will reflect that. <laughs> but again, pairing a graphic tee with a blazer in jeans or a skirt or a dress, like how you layer it is completely up to you. But when I tell you, your girl be feeling like a million bucks. I feel like a million bucks, okay? I love a blazer. <laughs> I think blazers are just cute. They're comfortable. They cover what I want covered. They expose what I want exposed. A graphic tee keeps the outfit a little more casual and stylish because who doesn't love a good graphic tee? Especially like a vintage one, like a old music, you know, group and uh, band and whatever. Like who doesn't love that? Um, and then again, I will have both examples on the screen. And then the last one is your maxi skirt. So I know that this is a 2024 trend and a lot of people are feeling mixed emotions about it. Um, I grew up in a house that wasn't really conservative. So if you did grow up in a house that is very conservative, you might not be prone to trying this outfit type out. However, I do think that with this coming back in style, that you have an option to kind of redeem and reclaim all your time growing up with the denim skirt. So skirts that are denim, whether it's a black wash or a light denim or a brown or you know a medium wash, denim skirts are actually really, really trendy right now. The long skirts that kind of make you look you know, those are coming back. Pair it with a cute sandal, pair it with a cute um, high heel, pair it with a cute sneaker, a graphic tee, or any type of t-shirt, button down, whatever you want. Um, it's, it's really, really cute, and it's coming back, and I'm honestly really here for it. I think it is giving what it needs to give. And on the plus side, you can also do faux leather skirts. So it's quite, we're at the time of the year where it's not quite too hot and not too cold anymore, depending on where you live. I'm on the East Coast in the DMV area. So for right now, the weather is cold, you know, cooler in the mornings and the evenings, but warmer in the middle of the day. So with a faux leather skirt, it's the perfect balance of texture and fabric and material, but it can also dress up your outfit. It can also dress down your outfit. It still gives that very chic, polished look with the long skirt. Because who doesn't love a full leather skirt? Okay, I do, you know? So that is it, you guys. I know this is a really quick video, but I did want to hop on and just kind of share with you all a few of my top five outfit pillars that I'm going to really test and lean into this season. My goal this season for the spring is to lean more into color. So because I have these outfit types and these kind of outfit pillars, I can now focus on colors that I want to really lean into for the spring, textures that I want to lean into, and... Um, layering for the spring and so with that more outfit ideas and fashion ideas to come but i would love to hear from you so if you liked any of these outfit styles let me know which one is your favorite let me know what outfit you like the best and if you want to see more videos like this then please leave a comment and let me know until next time friends thank you so so much for watching be well do well and be safe and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye